Hey guys, welcome back to Adventures in Anatomy. Today, we aren't going to learn anything new. Well, that's not true. We're not going to learn a new body part today, but we are going to learn something new about a body part, okay? <laughs> um, so we're going to do like a craft slash activity together. Okay, we're going to do it together. I've done it in the past, but I haven't done it in a long time, so it's kind of goofy, that's why. Okay, so I'm going to tell you the things that you need. I'm going to give you a few seconds to go run and get those things. You can pause the video and then come back, okay? So, you need two pencils. It doesn't matter if they're green or not. I just chose green ones. You can choose normal pencils if you want. Um, and it doesn't really matter how long they are. Just two normal size pencils, okay? You're going to need some tape. Good old tear-off tape. If you don't have it, you can um, cut some packing tape up or you just need some kind of tape, okay? Uh, painter's tape will work too, anything like that. And then just a string. I used a thicker piece of string. You can use a piece of yarn. You can use whatever. I literally cut this out of a bag that I used yesterday. Okay, so you run and grab those things and then we'll come back here. Okay? Alrighty guys, today we're going to learn how your joints work. Okay? So we've talked about a few different kinds of joints. What is our shoulder and our hip? They're a ball and socket joint. Good job. Do you remember making that ball and socket with Mr. Colin? Yeah, that's it. So our other type of joint that we've learned about is a hinge joint, right? Like in your fingers, your fingers are a hinge joint, your elbows, your knees, right? So we are going to make a hinge joint today with one tendon, okay? So our pencils are going to be our bones. These are really long bones, right? Um, and then our string is going to be our tendon, okay? And this is just going to help us out, okay? So first things first, let's see if I you can see this right. Hopefully. Here we go, let's tilt it down. Oh, no, no, no. Sorry, technical difficulties. Okay, so you have your pencils. Doing this on a hard surface gets probably easier that way. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to put, we'll call the tape, ligaments. Okay, ligaments, here we go. Uh, oh, you're going to put the first piece of tape down on top, just like this. Now, don't crease the sides around. See how it's not rolled around the pencil, it's just laid on top? Yep, that's what I want. So then you're going to put that piece of tape down on the table where it's not, where the sticky side is facing you. Then you're going to take another piece of tape about the same length. Good. And you're just going to lay it right on top so that the tape sticks to the tape, okay? Boop -a -doop -a -doo. Okay. So, I have both sides. You're going to hold it up and pinch those pieces of tape together. Just like so. Just like so. Good job. So now, this joint bends, right? Good. Okay, so it's bent. That's fine. Or you can flatten it out. Doesn't really matter. So now you're going to take your, what's this? Do you remember what this is supposed to be? Your tendon. Do you remember what a tendon is? If these are ligaments, they hold bone to bone, right? So this tape is a ligament. Bone to bone is ligament. Yeah. Then your string attaches. We're going to pretend there's a muscle on this end. So your tendons attach muscle to bone, right? Ligaments, bone to bone, tendons, muscle to bone. Okay, so let's insert your tendon now. It's like surgery. Okay, so I'm just gonna put one end on the table because it's just gonna be easier for me. Um, you're gonna lay the string down on top of your pencil, okay? I'm going to hold it in place with one hand. It doesn't matter how far up the pencil it comes. Mine comes like about halfway up the pencil, okay? You can put it however far you'd like, um, but put more than a little bit. Next, you're going to take one more piece of tape, okay? And you are going to just tape that tendon to the bone, okay? Tape the tendon to the bone. It's okay if you struggle, because I'm struggling. Tendon to bone. Good. So, 
Do you want to pretend? What joint do you want to pretend this is? Let's pretend it's our elbow. Okay. So your elbow normally sits like this. We'll pretend your hand is down here. Okay. So let's just pretend it's dangling just like this. Okay. So your tendon is attached to that bone down there. It runs down this bone up here, right? There's a muscle on the end of this tendon when it contracts. It pulls that limb up. Look at that. Muscle contract. Muscle contract. Nice job. So look, if you pretend like it's your finger and your finger is bent and then it pops out, that's what's happening. Okay? Let's talk about that for a minute. Okay? So I have my finger. It's bent and then it pops out, right? So there is a muscle that's way up in your arm that connects to a tendon that runs all the way down, all the way around your finger to the tip, okay? So when this muscle contracts, it pokes your finger out, okay? If you take your hand just like this and put it right here on your forearm and squeeze a little, whenever you straighten your finger, you can feel it move up here, okay? So what's happening? Muscles contracting, pulls on the tendon, which is inserted down here. When it pulls on that tendon, the tendon pulls back just like on our pencil and straightens it out. When the muscle relaxes, it lets go so your finger can curl back up. Okay, so look, this is your finger. This is the ligament that runs all the way up your arm. Okay, that muscle contracts. There it goes. Nice job, guys. Okay, so I want you to take pictures and take videos of your bone structure, whichever one you want, and your tendons and ligaments, and I want you to put them in the comments, okay? I want to be able to see what you guys have done today. This is such a fun activity, don't you think? <laughs> Alrighty, guys. I will see you next Tuesday, okay? Thank you for joining us. Have a great day.